hello developers welcome back in this video let's see how we can build beautiful rating bar in our flutter application and it will not only just display a rating bar but also it will uh, prevent the negative rating in your uh, app store or google play store so this is what we are going to build and if you user will select one star or two star or anything that you customize to prevent user from opening the final play store rating then user will see this a uh, feedback option and if user will select uh, only four star or five star whatever you configure then only the final play store rating will appear so in this way you can improve your overall uh, rating on app store or google play store so without further delay let's get started so this is where i'm going to implement this rating bar and uh, this is the pick bank ai project that currently i'm building uh, i will launch it soon uh, if you are interested to know more about it, uh, you can go on pickbankai.com. So for that, uh, mainly one package is required like this uh, rating bar, flutter rating bar. So add this package in your dependency and once that is done, we can use that. So in my app, this is the end drawer and this is the rate option. And on clicking on this rate option, uh, we will display the uh, rating pop-up so this rating option is inside the drawer and uh, in your application it can be a simple button or any any function or any where you can place this option to just trigger it so don't worry about that like where you want to place it just uh, you should know the functionality so inside this drawer this is the option where we are displaying this rate option and on clicking of this uh, tile we are displaying a show rating pop-up from utils so let's build this show rating pop-up again from scratch so for that i'm going to create a new uh, function in my utils file static void uh, static uh, future void github copilot thank you for suggesting but i will not uh, use your recommendation future void so rating pop-up and here we will display the rating bar async and uh, first uh, we need to display the initial dialog so here use this so dialog so dialog context we need to take from parameter build context build context context and inside builder uh, context comma something i think it takes something uh, no just the builder okay uh, and here uh, return the alert dialog and uh, let's see this first because we will build it while seeing the live changes so now i will use this show rating pop-up function in my drawer instead of show rating pop-up this one so utils dot show rating pop-up now let's see what we are getting it's just a dialog there is nothing so here inside the content we will pass a column so that we can display a couple of elements here children and first uh, thanks for pilot but i will not use your recommendation i will display icon not icon i i want to actually display the logo of my app so it will be image.asset and uh, thanks for pilot this time i will use your recommendation asset slash images slash logo dot png okay let's see let's see this great all right but now this size of this image is too big so let's wrap it with the uh, sized box and give it some height or width height 80 and width 80 let's see and one thing uh, if you will hot reload the dialog will not reload so you need to again close and open the dialog okay now it looks fine but one thing you notice i don't want this long dialog so inside column let's try to yeah thanks youtube copilot main axis alignment dot mean uh, not alignment main axis size okay here is the perfect dialog and now here we will display a text 
GitHub Copilot coming next one. Okay, okay, okay. It was suggesting good. Text. No, 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 no. Copilot. Text. Rate. Pick bank AI and font size 22. Okay, let's see. Fine. Now we will display the rating bar. That for that we added this package Flutter rating bar. And here is the simple use cases like uh, rating bar dot builder initial rating and all. So I'm just going to copy this snippet from here. And let's close this pop up now. And after this text, I will display this rating bar dot builder. But what is wrong here? Instead of semicolon, I need a comma. And you need to import it. Uh, I think I had I had already imp uh, imported it. That's why it is there. So you need to import it. If you are doing it for the first time okay now we have the rating bar let's click now okay awesome you can see now we can select different different star this time fraction is allowed but uh, google play store doesn't allow fraction that's why i'm going to disable the uh, allow her of rating so remove it and it should now disable the fractional option yeah now fractional rating is disabled and initial rating uh, Anything you can uh, display here, whatever you feel is good for your user to uh, show as initial rating. I would say, uh, I would suggest using four or five, or you can also suggest three initial rating so that user will know they can adjust the rating based on their choice. And minimum rating is one by default, okay. And item count five is fine, item padding is four, it's also fine, but uh, let's add a const here and we want to display star here also let's add a const here and here on rating update print rating fine but what we want now is to use uh, to do something based on this rating and also on next of this dialog like uh, continue on continue button of this dialog we want to check if rating is a desired rating like four star or five star then only we will display the final play store rating otherwise we will ask for feedback like uh, what's wrong or how we can improve so for that let's create a variable here uh, I would say here outside this builder uh, int rating is equal to uh, it should be the uh, initial rating that we are picking here so we'll write 4 and uh, print rating okay so instead of here printing the rating rating equal to rating and now uh, we have to display two buttons here one for close and one for proceed or continue so for that for that i would like here to display two buttons in a row row and uh, inside the children copilot coming action thanks copilot oh but it will be difficult for you to understand that's why i'm going to write it manually so inside children i will display two buttons first for uh, closing this pop like they accidentally clicked on this red pig bank AI, but they don't want to rate it so they can close it uh, for that uh, let's uh, let's use a outline button on pressed we will pop navigator dot uh, navigator dot pop context and in child there will be text and we will say cancel or close and similarly we need another button okay first let's fully customize it so that we can copy paste style uh, Oh, let's let's leave it let's first see how it will look so just copy oh let's duplicate it and here proceed proceed or continue okay let's see rate now we have close and continue button but as you can see it doesn't look good so let's add some spacing here main axis alignment dot uh, space between and let's add styling on these buttons style outline button dot style form and here not primary copilot help but not much so here will be background color 
no no not visible uh, okay background color is already given so it will be foreground color foreground color i want colors dot uh, black and background color i don't want actually red i want this scaffold background color so let's use theme dot of context so in background color i want theme dot of context dot scaffold background color and let's copy paste this style for the second button as well and here instead of giving the scaffold background color as a background color we will use the uh, green color okay fine let's see now red as you can see now it looks much better and uh, green but this text should be also white so in continue text let's give style and text style color color start white okay now it looks good let's give some padding and all uh, add const everywhere in file and uh, first uh, let's add padding in this rating builder by with padding just vertical uh, symmetric vertical padding of 15 rate okay now it's it's much cleaner and uh, now we have to handle like if user is selecting one star or two star and clicking continue then obviously we would not like to allow them to uh, open the final play store rating so for that uh, we can display another pop-up on clicking of this continue button if rating is uh, one star two star or three star so for that uh, on click of this continue button we do not have to close it here we will display another rating pop-up you can see copilot is suggesting me because i have already used that but for you to understand better i will write from scratch i will not take help from copilot so if rating is greater than three you can have your own condition like if you want only five star rating to be allowed then you can write if rating greater than four but i would say at least allow four star as well so if rating is greater than 3, I will simply open the to do, open the final store rating and uh, else if rating is not desired rating, then we will display another alert dialog and for that I am going to copy a dialog that I have already created. So this is the dialog, I would not like to do the same thing again. So, just in case if rating is not greater than 3, then we will display, display another dialog. And let me explain what is inside this dialog. I think I missed some bracket. Let's add one more. Yeah. So, if rating is not greater than 3, we are again displaying a dialog. And inside that dialog uh, builder, what we are doing uh, in the content of that dialog, we are passing again a column and don't forget this and this text like uh, we are sorry to hear that and then some description text like would you like to give us feedback and same style in same style two buttons first button will close two of the open dialog like you just do not want to send any feedback then close both the pop-ups and if user clicks on yes like they want to uh, send the feedback then from here you can either send your user to a form page or something like that in my case i am redirecting user to a google form to fill the uh, feedback so this is how you can handle the feedback thing so let's run it again and see so rate let's select two st one star and continue i think we missed something let's see what it what it is it seems interesting what we missed uh if rating is less is greater than three then we are doing nothing else we are displaying this dialog again but why it's not displaying uh, is it because of this this uh, rating is for here and once we are updating this rating bar dot builder i think uh, it is only updating the rating itself there might be some variable names conflict so for the sake of simplicity let's rename this variable to 
something else let's say it stars and here stars is equal to rating as you can see it's double and this is integer so we need to make it double so this was the problem i think that's why it was not working now let's okay so it's double now so we need to write something like three point oh, oh sorry we changed the variable name so it's now stars starts i made stars okay here also hmm let's see let's see this time if it works red pick bank ki or red your app select uh, less star continue we see another pop up we are sorry to hear that would you like to give us feedback and if user clicks no both the pop up closes and if user clicks uh, let's say select one star continue if user clicks yes then it will open the form or something that you have handled in my case i am redirecting to a google form in your case you can have your own screens and you can redirect there and if user selects the desired rating let's say 5 star then let's verify it print open the final play store rating thanks for pilot okay now let's open and hopefully uh, it will work so click 5 star and continue and here you can see in the console open the final store rating and to open the final play store rating what you can do is you can use this package in app review i generally use this package so once user uh, selects five star rating here and clicks continue here instead of like normal print statement you can use this simple code snippet if in app review dot is available in app review dot request review it's just that simple so let's copy it and it will i will not be able to demo it here in emulator because it will only work on play store once your app is available on play store uh why it's not available let me see i need to add a sync here because it is taking a wait uh in app review okay i think i missed this thing okay so it's done if stars are greater than 3 so for the better performance let's say you can also create the instance inside this if loop so now if user is selecting more than 3 star like uh, let's say 4 star or 5 star then we are opening the final play store rating and if user is selecting 1 star 2 star or anything that we don't like then we can display them this uh, awesome feedback option like give us feedback and here you have another option let's say you don't want to use this in app review to display in app uh, review pop up so what you can do you can redirect user to play store directly to your play store uh, url of your app uh, where user can see your app description and rating option and they can read from there because sometimes uh, this in app review is not available because of the platform limitations and all for that you can use this url launcher package it will uh, and here you can simply use your uh, app play store or uh, app store url so this is how you can display rating pop up in your flutter application and uh, you can also improve your overall ratings on google play store or apple app store for your application and it's easy to use you just saw like how easily we did that thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video 